I don't really know too much about this because, uh, I mean, I saw the map expansion for Sumeru. It's just a Baida Harbor, but it looked kind of doo-doo. Like, it was literally just this little bit of an area, I think, with nothing in it, basically. And this video is called The Worst Map Expansion in Genshin Impact. Sumeru fanboys crying. But why? Why are they crying? What is this video? Yo, this is Bench Gamer here. So in the recent patch for Genshin Impact 4.7, I mean 4.6, they finally added the inaccessible area to the north of Sumeru. And yes. this has been the subject of some contention so uh, from what I've read on Reddit. This is because of the fact that there is really nothing there. And the landmass that they added yeah, is actually rather sizable. So when you say it out loud like this, it doesn't sound... The landmass that they added is rather sizable. Wait, what does he mean by that? Because the the area itself is... Sm the landmass itself is small. Is he talking about, like, the overall look area of the map that was unlocked, even the inaccessible parts? That weird for there to be, like, this landmass in an open world game that doesn't really have anything there because obviously you need some filler space. Not everything, not uh -huh. every single place in the world in an open world game can have stuff going on there. But Genshin Impact has always had a very formulaic way of doing things that you always have a chest over there and then you have a challenge over there and then you have yeah. uh, so things to kill over there to get mats that you need to level stuff up. So it's not like the most amount of work to put that stuff there in the first place. And you can really see this on the Hoyo Labs maps tool where you can see all of the pins for all the different challenges and Jesus. chests and all that stuff. And practically every single piece of landmass that you can traverse in the open world has this stuff. Except for this area yeah, in damn, that's crazy, the north dude. of Sumeru. And this is much rarer than you would think because when they added landmasses uh, such as Chasm and Sumeru, they uh -huh. actually added more chests in between those places and the places that that they is true with. they so, did do that like from from like the the run-up to the areas and stuff they did add a lot more chests and stuff in between sumeru and liyue and the chasm and old liyue they actually added some chests that you might not have noticed but i did that's kind of crazy very insightful oh sorry arib let me make sure every single sentence that comes out of my mouth is the is the most insightful thing that adds ultimate value to every single thing that is happening on the screen at the same time sorry it, i'll make sure to like be I better in them, future just added, for like, you you want me to react harder oh, fucking hell oh my god you fucking wanderer six seven eight chests what do you want from me in between those places so that they don't feel just empty dead man's land true and that is essentially what this new that's kind of crazy <laughs> place is in the north of sumero and it looks really conspicuous because it's extremely large it's like half the size of monstat it's really conspicuous because it's extremely large it's like half the size of monstat is that how you actually pronounce Monstat? Because I've heard so many people pronounce it Monstat. Props to you, that name pronunci pronunciation was on point. Don't you fucking backpedal now, motherfucker. <laughs> and I think a lot of the a lot of the backlash, I wouldn't necessarily call it backlash, it's just some people complaining on the internet, but it does feel mm. kind of weird to have just this like gigantic landmass on the map of Teyvat that has nothing there. It is weird. It's when weird when you see that the rest of it has so much stuff. Like, I, I genuinely didn't realize there was that much stuff in the game, but I, I mean, it does make sense when you think about it. But uh, to have nothing, was there even any enemies in the new area? And practically every single other place does. And I think this is for two reasons. One, this so. patch is not about the north of Sumeru. Obviously, this patch is about- No, uh, not even plants. Remuria, the, the place in the middle of the inland sea that you can go to. I, res I assume it's about, about Remuria. Mm. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Remuria. Remuria. But I haven't yeah. actually Remuria. done the world quest, so I'm not completely sure. But from what I have heard, it is about Remuria and it's extremely good. So yeah. it's not like they didn't add anything to this patch. It's not like this is the big... Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, it, the, the little Sumeru expansion isn't all we got. It wasn't all we got. We got Remuria. Remuria was fucking great. But it still feels very weird for them to just add it with nothing there for Sumeru. It's, it's just time. It's just that... When they added Remuria, they also added this northern place in Sumeru. Yes. And the problem is that when Sumeru initially came out in 3.0, we got all of the so we got in the entire forest part of the map yeah. in one patch. And yeah. every single patch after that was just desert, 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 desert. And a lot of people got burnt out on Genshin Impact's exploration during that time because we just don't I like seeing didn't. the same thing all the time, right? One desert patch is okay. Two desert patches is kind of okay as well. But then three desert patches in a row, that's maybe a bit too much. Yeah, I didn't and get so burnt out, of, but I definitely got bored of the desert very quickly. People were suspecting that they were saving up another patch for Sumeru at some point, and that this would either be in the south of Sumeru or the north of Sumeru. And now that we have the north of Sumeru added, 
it doesn't seem like that's the case in fact it seems like it's the most like it has this is the place in all of the open world that has the least amount of content so far and unlike the places in between liyue and sumeru they don't seem to have added all that much there there is one waypoint that you mm -hmm. can go to called beta port and there's some npcs there that you can talk to so it's not like there's absolutely nothing there but then you go to the west of that and then it's just literally nothing there's nothing to pick there's no mint to pick there's no chest to pick up there's no nothing to kill uh yeah there's maybe dead, like i think there's maybe space. one chest on top of a mountain or something but the entire desert area to the to the east of the desert that we had before this patch is just there's nothing there and personally i'm okay with that i don't think every single place in Taibot needs to have all of this usual stuff that we have like No, I, I I I do actually personally disagree. I do. If they're gonna if they're gonna uncover part of the map as a brand new area, no matter how big or small, I feel like there should be substantial things to actually do in said area. I don't think it's okay to just release like the final part of Sumeru or whatever and have like two chests and that's it. I think that's boring as fuck. I think it's lazy and I think people are gonna be very disappointed because there's just nothing to do. Why would you ever go there? There needs to be something. Just just give a couple of puzzles and some chests. It's really not that hard. I, like, I there's nothing fine. incentivizing you to go to this, this place either. The only way you would ever go there is because, you know, you just exactly, happen yeah. to walk there and you want to go There's no, one no reason you'd go no there otherwise there unless you're just you looking for it. Do. So it's not that immersion breaking, but I do think that this is kind of a worrying trend because... They could have added, like, a, about at least 50 to 70 chests at least. <laughs> Then you have people like that. Yeah, they could have at least added a thousand fucking enemies, uh, 70,000 primos this pack. Along with this new filler area <laughs> is a lot of optimization they have done to make the game size a lot smaller. I think, I believe for PC, it's now 20 gigabytes smaller and for mobile, it's maybe like 30 or 40 gigabytes smaller. Jesus. So the way they did this was to have more aggressive calling of objects in the distance. Uh, there are some comparisons that you can see on the internet if you just go search for them. And another thing that uh -huh. they did was that they actually simplified some of the existing uh, land masses, right? So if you look at North Vanarana, there used to be waterfalls there, and now there's not. There used to be two waterfalls in the Mount of North Vanarana. Yeah, I'm that, looking actually. at the comparison video right here, right now. Oh, God. And there used to be multiple waterfalls, actually. And now there's no waterfalls. There was. It looked so much prettier before. Wait, what happened? To reduce storage? It's a good thing for that, but it sucks if they're going to do this to, like, make areas look worse, to be honest. I don't know. Unless, is this just for mobile, or do they also do it on PC? Is this just for mobile? If it's just for mobile, that makes perfect sense. If they do this for PC, too, that kind of fucking sucks. I don't know. PC, too? Yeah, that sucks. I don't like that. I understand why, don't get me wrong, but now I'm... What if they do it for, like, the desert in future and get rid of a lot of the cool landscapes and stuff? Or what if they do it for, for certain areas that look cool as fuck that, you, that nobody ever goes back to, but they're still really cool in the game, you know? Old areas are fine. All right, but imagine we're going through fucking Shneshnaya and they get rid of the Eternal Oasis at some point because nobody ever goes back there. Or they change it so that it's not pretty anymore. It's just grass instead of what it is. Like, I don't know. I... I it feels a little weird to me, but I mean, I, like I say, I get it. I, I'm just there not were like a massive, massive fan, Holy I guess. Shit. And there's just nothing there now. There's a lake, but I assume they, they cut this out because mm. it's just too graphically intensive. They want to flatten the area. It was unexplorable. That... Oh, this was unexplorable? That makes it a lot better, to be fair. I still find it weird because like... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're looking at the area like that looks so pretty. Can't wait to explore that, and then you fucking get this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fine with it, but yeah, I don't know. Not that it's just kind of funny. The overall theme of the world, I guess. Sumeria is done, and it just feels. If hey, if it reduces storage by like 20 gigs, that's fine. Maybe they're making way for the end game content. You know, kind of unimmersive. And it, besides that, the way that we go to Remuria, the island that we go to Remuria from, is also super un uninteresting it's not immersive they just give you a waypoint and i was yeah. worried about this when they first announced that we would be able to go to fontaine yeah, directly it did feel a little at weird the start though. of the game without actually having to do sumero's quest first and this is because they just give you a waypoint that you can teleport to to fontaine directly from monster once you've done the first part of story and i think that was okay it was a very cute concept, town it was just weird to instantly my view be was there. that they would rely on this type of teleport 
uh, traversal more and more over the course of time. And that seems to have happened with Remuria. Before in the past, when we went mm -hmm. to like another map or something like the chasm, we had to actually like physically walk there. And yeah, when I we had to, like when we went to Enkonomia, we had to do an entire quest in Watatsumi to go there. And now for Remuria, it's just like, it's just the, this place in the middle of the inland sea yeah. that is kind of like separate from the entire the entire rest of the world, which is fine. It's an island, yep. right? But I agree. You have to give us an idea that's an island by letting us actually, you know, swim there or go there on a boat. Why, why do we have a boat if we don't use the boat? <laughs> well, what is true. the point of that mechanic if we don't use that mechanic? It's like, what, yeah, what's the point? That it it feels true. like they're moving in a in a direction that is making the world a bit less immersive, in my opinion. It's not just. But the it's fact also kind of like, why do we have a teapot if we never fucking sleep? <laughs> There's nothing in the north of Sumeru. It's not just that we were expecting some sort of forest expansion at some point and we didn't get it. It's that the whole world of Teapot feels like it's being trivialized a bit and I don't like that feeling. Because one of the core concepts of Genshin Impact is that we have this persistent open world, right? That it is immersive, that it feels like it's, it's a real place. And slowly, bit by bit, it feels like that is becoming less yeah. the case. I definitely and get that. I think that. that is important to point out because there are very few things about Genshin Impact that is keeping older players around. True. One of them is the fact that this game is very beautiful, that, is in a, that it has an immersive world, that it has deep lore. And if you if you cheapen that, then I'm This is an overreaction, seriously? Saying you want more than three chests and one puzzle in a brand new area is an overreaction? I think this guy's being very reasonable about it. I don't think he's overreacting at all. That is and if you mean me, fucking hell. ...going to become less important there's going to be less Why is my camera freezing? To stick around, right? So I don't think in a vacuum, this northern part of Sumeru that has nothing is that big of a deal. I went there. I thought it was fine from a geography, geological standpoint. It looks like it's on par with original Mondstadt, which is not like, like the mm. most beautiful, most like perfect place of all time in terms of design, but it's serviceable. It, it had the atmosphere of the beginning place that you go to in every single open world game. So it was fine. It's just that there's nothing there. And that's basically it. I, I hope that in the future, they reconsider how they do the open world. And please stop using these new waypoints. I, I want to actually traverse the world. One of the reasons why I got burnt out in Genshin Impact in I the agree first with place that. is that I realized that when I was doing the open world traversal, I would literally just go to every single waypoint and get all of the waypoints so I could teleport to them without actually having to look at the world. And one of, my, one of the things I realized as I started a new account was that it was actually fun to traverse the world because I didn't have all these overpowered units that could yeah. just reach every place instantaneously. I didn't have a wanderer to like teleport me up to the side of a cliff. I didn't have Yelon to uh, just run around all over the place. And the fact that I couldn't do that all the time actually made me appreciate the world more. It made me look at the world more. And the fact that I couldn't just teleport to every single new- I guess the one thing you could say though, in all fairness here, chat, to, to, like to keep it 100 percent real is if you don't want to just teleport into an unexplored zone just don't and that's a perfectly viable thing to do like i don't think i don't think they should remove the teleports i understand this guy's point but just don't use it if you don't like it right new point oh, and no. wait for the new patch so that i could just you know get Not all the think waypoints about it. Again i think it's kind of a redundant the, point waypoints. it made the world more fun it made the world this is more for the first time real. experience yeah. i think i know but th this is the point though a lot of people don't give a shit about it right so a lot of people who just want to get the quest done will happily just teleport there if you don't want to teleport there then don't i don't know i feel like that's that's a that's a nothing burger of a of an issue because if you don't like the teleport waypoint don't use it until you unlock it at, like until you I get really there i really do hope that they do more to make the traversal of the world it's more fine interesting. to me uh, this was one of my complaints that I didn't really yeah, talk the empty about, which areas is that suck. traversal of Genshin Impact's world has become but less interesting fine. for the previous reasons I mentioned. The overpowered units that you eventually get if you do target those characters. It I is literally the skip button discussion all over again. You're really right, it is. Those characters. Add a skip button. No! People are going to skip and let them. But I don't want to skip. Then don't hit the skip button. Oh. I just thought Wanderers looked cool. But eventually, I did get enough characters that I could trivialize the open world traversal. And now they've trivialized it even more with these teleport points. And now they have these areas, these dead areas that you're not really supposed to go to even. So it makes it yeah. makes the concept of walking in one direction and finding new things to do even less viable. And that is one of the attractions of the game. Kinda, there, yeah. there are rumors that we're...
Rumors. Hmm. Yeah, rumors. I. Well, that's where you lose me, buddy. It's not leaks. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just rumors. Just rumors. True.